I remember growing up and hearing practically daily by the biology teacher that nature is exquisite and it's got these beautiful things and it's, a, and it's the amazing and it's a design pinnacle. And then it was like, no, no. In fact, we can do better than nature. There was the day, well, you have to walk out like the Michelin man to stay warm in the winter because it was stuffed with down, the most insulating material in nature. We do better than that now. Yeah. We've, we've figured out how insulating properties work. We have synthetic materials. We can now insulate better than nature. We can run faster than nature had allowed. We can fly faster than the bird had shown us. So I see nature, in fact, as a limitation on what our truly creative mind can bring to the, to the table rather than as some design pinnacle. And consider also other just functional things that you'd say, who would, it what? You know, like, like <laughs> we, we eat, drink, and breathe through the same hole in our body. That's that is weird. not intelligent design. This is stupid <laughs> design, right? This is like that guaranteeing some fraction of us choke to death. If you were dolphins, you, you breathe and eat through different holes in your body, right? If all three were different holes, you could eat, drink, talk, and breathe simultaneously. That, that would be like a really cool thing. Where's that, all right, out there? You know, and there, there are parts of our anatomy where there's like, between the legs specifically, where, where there's like an entertainment complex in the middle of a sewage system. You know, what? This, so I, I don't, I'm sorry, but I can't. When I look to nature, I see all manner of sort of messed up evolutionary consequences that I'm saying, Take me back a few steps, I can improve upon this. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, just. <laughs>